um, guys can put themselves in position to be the guy. You know, sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's, there's not enough competition to, to threaten a guy. Like Tanner is not being threatened, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't have lost the position anyway, but he's not being threatened. But there's other people that are moving up and down the ladder based off of their performance in the spring. And I think that it all depends on how thin you are at a position. When you have a lot of depth, for example, I mean, there's a lot of depth at the wide receiver position here. I mean, there's a whole bunch of players, you know, a whole bunch of guys that have, have ability too. So there's guys moving up and down the ladder at that, this position. Hey, everyone knows about Pick, and then they know about Bashirs, and, you know, they, they know about that 15 guy. You know, they know about him, him some too. But they don't know about everybody else. And, you know, there's a bunch of guys here that, that can play. So I'd say of all the positions on the team, the team that the position there's been the most competition at has been a wide receiver position. I've been very pleased, you know, especially after me being critical of myself right from the start of being that one of the things that I I misjudged the first the first go around. I've been very pleased, you know, where we are right now. I think the defensive staff. Um, has meshed very nicely together, you know, with a combination of age and experience with youth. With youth. Um, I think the offensive staff, a lot more of us had worked together, you know, so Reggie and Tim really had to be the, guy, the guys that kind of that, that kind of blended in. But I think that uh, I've been overall very pleased with, uh, you know, the cohesiveness of the staff. You know, the weightlifting is maintaining Conditioning is, is is being pushed further and further. Like we'll end at, we'll end practice today with two minute, and where they'll have just run up and down the field a whole bunch of times, and then we'll turn around and run gassers right after that as a team. You know, because one of the things I think that we as a team I think have definitely been lacking, okay, from the beginning of spring and have gotten better at it is stamina. You know, you can't play this game without having stamina. You know. And that's true on both sides of the ball and on special teams. On defense, with the fast pace uh, that you're, you're playing on a weekly basis in the Big 12, you have to have stamina. You can't have substitutions right in the middle of the thing right there, and all of a sudden you look like the bad news bears. You got guys running on and off the field because guys are just too tired to be able to hold up. Okay, conversely, on offense, okay, I've never had a skill, a skill player that was any good that didn't have stamina. You know, if they run, if you got a wide receiver who runs, run, runs, runs one deep route and he's done for the next five plays, then what good is he? You know, what good is he? And you only have him for one play. I mean, they have to be able to establish some form of stamina, and that's what we do at this time of year. <laughs> Talk about me, cause these suckers scared to talk about me. Killers talking about me. It ain't no talk about me. It ain't no walking around me. See all these killers around me. Around me going down in big county.